Like, this is probably the first weapon where I'm just like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, I am not skilled at all with dual blades. Like, I can't stress this enough. All I am doing <laughs> is I'm trying to maintain uh, Arch Demon mode. But yeah, I'm just mashing circle for the flight skill, dude. It's just insane. The mobility and the distance of your dodges. Knockback resistance. Dude. <laughs> this dual blades is insane. How has it taken me this long to freaking try dual blades, man? I think the thing that is like making me like this is the flight skill. That flight skill is so good. Hey, hello, welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. So last episode we used dual blades for the first time and it went fairly well. I did say that I was gonna continue with the dual blades for at least one more episode. I don't know if I'm gonna continue it after this, but I just wanted to give it a fair shot. So thank you for all the people that have left tips and comments. You know, some uh, people said that I can now craft the new power charm and armor charm since I beat Ibushi. The only thing is, I I might have to fight him again. I don't know if I have all the materials to do it. Okay. I can. I can. Sick. All right, let me. I'm going to have to put, put the power charm. Armor charm. I don't know if I have enough money to do this. Because then I have to rebuy them. Crafting list. Craft. Sweet. Sweet. Power talent. Armor talent. And now, uh, where would they be? Would they be like at the end here? Okay, here. Here. Sweet. Oh man, this is gonna be so much money. I don't I don't think I have enough money here. Do I have I think I have things that I can sell. Is there is there a button that sells all items? All sellable items? Oh no. They don't have like an easy shortcut. Uh what is sellable? Oh, here, here, here. When the freak did I get platinum eggs? There was no such thing as platinum eggs in Monster Hunter World. I didn't know I had a freaking million zenny in my item box. I'm freaking rich! Oh my god. <laughs> Extravagant cash box. Dude. Nice. That must have been like... Like some of the add-on content. Like I got from that cat on the box. It has to be. Alright, so I can craft this. And then I can put it here. Manage. Oh, it's already here. Okay, let's save this loadout. Okay, nice. Mwah, beautiful. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Now... I think two people left comments saying that the dual blades has a really crazy silk bind skill that does so much damage, but it unlocks in master rank. And I think it's called some, I think two people were calling it the vault skill, but it's actually called something else. I think one person corrected uh, themselves. Uh, I, I, I don't see, I don't know what it was called, but. But it seems like a lot of the weapons in this game have like really OP skills that unlock in Master Rank. That's what like multiple people have said. They're like, dude, you gotta wait for the Gunland skill in Master Rank. Man, the Switch Axe skill in Ma in Master Rank is insane. Like, oh my god, this weapon is so much better in Master. Uh, got you gotta try Great Sword in Master Rank, man. <laughs> what the hell is going on in Master Rank that's making all these weapons so OP? Okay. 
Let's go in Anjanath right now. I think an Anjanath would be, would be would be good. Uh, let's let's eat some food, some yum yums. Eat. Now, at the end of last episode, I I did buy I think the best like armor that I can craft. So my defense should be like up to par. I think I think my defense is pretty good. Uh, let's see. I have 339 defense. Some people have said that like the dual blade, like raw attack on the dual blades, isn't that good. In that it dual blades only really shines on elemental. Which I mean, I, I guess it makes sense because dual blades is such a fast weapon, and elemental like weapons are mainly good for sh like fast weapons. All right, there he is. Mr. Anjanath. Alright, so I'm gonna try to... I have to make sure... Don't do triangle circle unless they're downed. Then you can do the pierce bind. And then uh, be in demon mode. And then... Let's do it. Wait, did he just knock me out of... Thing that I feel like I was getting I was getting knocked out of demon mode there. Where you go? What? What are you doing up there? Dude, seriously? You hit me twice? Ah, oh, that sucked. That's... That kind of... Damn, that sucked, bro. Uh, Nero, can you do something about this? Oh my god, he ran away. Like, he gave me mercy, man. Dude, can somebody stop me? Nero, Storm, why don't you guys hit me? Oh my god. Are you serious? I hit you against the wall. Damn, that sucked.
Whoa! So far, so far, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well with Engine F. Yeah, I mean, as long as I'm just not doing the the triangle circle that like locks my animation to like a crazy like multi hit attack, I'm fine. Pierce. Pierce finds. Okay, here we go. Big damage. Like, that evade extender on demon mode feels so nice. You gotta make sure you're closer on that man. I wonder how Frostcraft is with dual blades. Like you have to probably, you have to like rem remember to sheathe a lot, but. Pretty good, pretty good.
Whoa, whoa, he got back up. Quick. Oh, he's sleeping, he's sleeping, he's sleeping, he's sleeping. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? Um, let's just... That's not what I want to do, but... Broke his tail. Did I not land the kunai? How did I not land the kunai? You're like Anjanet can't do anything because you're just like jumping and like like it pretty much evades like yeah like you bump into him like that's pretty much the only time he hits you when he when you bump into him or he bumps into you okay let, let's let's get out of here He's injured. Uh, wow, Angina is pretty easy with the dual blades. <laughs> Dude, this flight skill is ridiculous. Like, certain monsters just have a very hard time hitting you with that flight skill. When you're just in the air, the only time that Angina really hit me was just when he bumps into me. Like, when he runs into me or I can't get out of the way. That's it. <laughs> wow. There you go. Nice. I, I'm happy. I'm happy with how that went. All right. A little bit slower. 20 minutes. Uh, last episode, like most of the hunts were 16 minutes long. So I guess... Okay. Should I take a look? Let me let me take a look. What kind of stuff can I craft from Anjanath? Ibushi. Anjanath. I can't craft anything, bro. What's up with this? What is up with this? This is crazy because. This is crazy, because every time I I think I've, I've fought like a monster in Monster Hunter World, I think I feel like I could always at least craft one piece of gear. Usually, like in Monster Hunter World, I, I think like you defeat one monster, usually you can craft like one or two pieces of gear. You know, two maybe if you got lucky with drops or something. <laughs> this is crazy, I can't craft one piece of gear. Focus Slugger. Marathon Runner. Wow, two levels of Slugger. Two attack boosts. Focus, wow. You got four levels of attack boosts. Okay. All right. What about dual blades? I probably, I probably, 
I probably can't make the... I don't think I could make, like, an engine app. What would it be, like, fire... Uh, fire dual blades? Here, engine at tree. Engine at fang. They're like little axe daggers. <laughs> 210. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. That's actually pretty good. It has 210 attack, which I have, but it has 15 damage on top. Oh, it has minus 15% affinity. Mm. Ugh. Okay. Should I do Rathalos or should I do Barioth? I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do Barioth. I think, like, Barioth. I have always cursed Barioth, man. Like, <laughs> even the first time I fought him in Rise, even though I kind of knew Barioth from World, man, he just, like, kicked my ass. But I had the Charge Blade and. It was the second time I attempted him with a charge blade. I, the first time I fought in no, um, Barry off in World was the like I was learning the charge blade and he kicked my ass. And the first time I fight him in Rise, I fight him with the charge blade again, and he wrecked me. He kicked my ass. <laughs> uh, let's see if let's see how dual blades feel against the man. The Barry off is just so crazy, man. Always, like, shoulder tackling you. Always spinning around with his tail. He's just an aggressive mofo. Alright. Okay, get the yum-yums. Get our Kool-Aid. Potions. Let's get these birds. Come here, birds. No. Uh, all right, where are you? You're all the way over there. Man, I can't wait till I get that skill. That like, uh, like the. No, not Somnicamp. The skill that like is like the spirit bird magnet, where it kind of. Makes birds from far away come to you. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so his roar knocks me out. Can roar. Sum them up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Uh, yeah, I saw that. God, man, yeah. Barioth is a. God, I hate Barioth, bro. Yeah, like his shoulder tackle gets me. Wait, what's going on? Oh. He's running away. Alright, yeah, so immediately I am noticing that, like, I don't really evade, like, a lot of his attacks when I'm doing my, uh, Light skill, Swiss skill. His shoulder tackle is a pain in the ass. No, no, he's over here. But it's super, like, 
I didn't notice this last episode, but it's super useful to, uh, even if you're in arch demon fo form, you can go into regular demon form and you can still, like, you can get your arch demon gauge back up. Super useful. Super useful. Some <laughs> mom. What's going on? Oh, shoot. Okay, this. Yeah, you see, like, I'm in the air, still hits me. And if you, I'm in the air, I don't think I could do L2 circle. Look at that. I, I got, I didn't lose my arch demon. Like, my arch demon gauge was almost done, but I totally got that back. What? Can't see, can't see, can't see anything. Can I ride? Can I ride? Yeah, okay. these goodies. Right, beautiful. So far, so far, so good. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. right behind me okay let's damn is there a fast way to get back up there whoa oh he's here okay
<laughs> he ran away already. Okay, it started. It started a little crazy, but like I, th I feel like I've been dominating him ever since. Oh yeah, I got. I can't forget about his tail. Once he runs away, I'm going to go get his tail again. Okay. Pierce spine. Oh, he's sleeping? Okay. Uh... gonna do all right are you tired okay he's running away let's go get his tail um his tail okay i see it i'm not gonna lie like <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i'm actually liking the dual blades like it's actually it's actually crazy like the mobility of the dual blades is insane it's like full on. It's like a quick max evade extender. And you have basically knockback resistance. You know, you have. You're jumping around the monster. All you gotta do is press circle, like in demon or arch demon mode, and you jump up where you have a higher chance of, his, of evading his attacks. This. Dual Blades is insane. It's insane. Now, obviously, I'm not using the max potential of it. Like, if I was, uh, like, using, like, Elemental... I didn't mean to hang from it. Like, sometimes I, it seems like I just hang from the wire bug. That's like the first time my uh, arch demon mode ran out since like 
since I got it this whole fight. Okay, okay, now we got we gotta What is he doing over there? Oh, he could be captured. Okay, let's capture him. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed with the dual blades. I... I am. I'm not sold on it, like... Like... Like, this is probably the first weapon where I'm just like... I can't believe... I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, I am not skilled at all with dual blades like i can't stress this enough all i am doing <laughs> is i'm trying to maintain uh arch demon mode so i'm i'm always like going into demon mode to make sure like i refill my arch demon gauge before it runs out but then like i just do circle man i just press circle for the the flight switch skill evaded just about i think like every single attack from Barioth except his shoulder his shoulder bash. That's the only thing that hit me, I think, like, during my vault silk. Uh, my vault... My flight skill. But, yeah, I'm just mashing circle for the flight skill, dude. It's just insane. And then the... The... The mobility and the distance of your dodges... Knockback resistance... It's insane. And then I I even did the counter silk bind skill a few times this fight. L2 circle. And I think that nullifies all damage and it just does like a counter attack. It's insane. But I'm not sold. Like, look at that. 15 minutes. Like. If I if I I feel like if I fought Barry off with the switch axe, this would have been over 20 minutes. And I might have even died. It's just insane. Holy hell, man. Hello, Luna. An urgent quest awaits you. Your task is to hunt down a rather large Rachna Kadaki. Whoa, a new monster. A disturbance in the lava caverns. The appearance of this monster is quite concerning as they have never been spotted in this locale before. Okay, interesting. This peculiar occurrence, as well as Minoto's strange behavior as of late, Certainly there is a connection, no? In any case, we're counting on you to hunt Rachna Kadaki. Hop to it, to it, Hunter of Kimura. Hey there, Luna. Guess what just came in for you? That's right, an urgent quest. Woo! Uh, what? Something seems off about me? <laughs> I didn't say anything, but if you think there's something off about you... I know it looks that way, but how do I explain it? Hmm, yeah. I definitely don't feel like myself. Maybe it's exhaustion. Who knows? A, sh a short rest, and I'll be back to my old serious pants self. I'll be fine. Now back to this urgent quest biz. And that biz is hunting a Rachna Kadaki. Toby Kadachi. Rachna Kadaki. It bobs, it weaves, it's here, it's there, and then suddenly fire everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that? I want to... <laughs> Who did the translation for this in English? It weaves, it's here, it's there, and then suddenly fire everywhere. Did you get all that? Hope so, because I'm not repeating it. Good luck out there. Hmm. Interesting. That kind of... That kind of looks very similar to a... I mean, I guess it's the color palette. I guess it's like the purple. Kind of looks like uh, like the drawing of a Somnicam. 
All right. Can't kill it with fire. So I guess that's basically saying that it's not weak against fire. And I was wondering for a while. I was like, where's the research guy that tells you what element the monsters are weak to and stuff like that? And then they said it's it's it's, it's in your freaking hunter notes. And I, I never even checked here. Uh, it tells you everything. Ah, oh, interesting. So, basically... So, we have, what, like, sever, sever damage? And then, like, blunt damage, I'm assuming, right? And then ammo? So, his chest, his wind sack is very weak, huh? Nice. And he's very weak against uh, fire and dragon elements. Nice, I like this, I like this. Just tells you everything right there. All right, here we go. Can't kill it with fire. It's like a spider. Dude, yeah, it is a spider. Look at that, like all the webs. Oh no! Don't tell me like she's gonna summon her children. I think I, if I remember correctly, those things like they shoot fire. Oh, look at that! What a we, what a crazy design. Okay. We just. What is this? Oh my god. So, uh, you can. There's webbing. So you can have webbing. I guess that slows you down. Alright. So. I got it right here. So, bam. Cleanser. There it is. Here we go. here. Okay. I'm on the Viserios. Beautiful. Take a 
Sack is huge. Before my arch demon runs out. Come on, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna know if I'm gonna make it. No, arch demon! Don't. I made it. <laughs> I didn't lose arch demon. Like, I don't know why I like sometimes, like when I'm in demon mode, like roars don't affect me. I don't know why. Oh, I did L2 circle. Didn't, I didn't get it off the time. Oh, no. Get up, get up. Look, the flight skill just saves you, man. A 360 fire? Are you freaking Fatalis? Sixty fire skill. Okay. What is what is this? Oh, I'm out of I'm out of our steam in. Oh, damn, I didn't even know I was out of Arch Demon.
Oh, alright, I'm back here. Oh no, oh, um. Shit. Yes. It's funny, it's like the baby, uh, it's baby like pulls it. You see, look, <laughs> it pulls it back. Sleeping? Can I smash into this? I still got hit. Ooh, interesting. Oh, we can capture it. Freaking crazy, bro. Dude. <laughs> this tool blades is insane. This weapon is insane. How is it taking me this long to freaking try dual blades, man? This is ridiculous. Now, granted, this is, uh, I think the thing that is, like, making me, like, like this is the flight skill. That flight skill is so good. It, you have such a good chance of evading skills and just racking up damage while you're in the air. That skill is amazing. Uh, okay, I was like, <laughs> is your foot on the trap? Dude, this is ridiculous, man.
Oh no, man. It's happening, man. It's happening, man. I think, like, I might be joining, like, Team Vex, man. <laughs> How is this happening? <laughs> Fifteen minutes, dude. The first, who was the, what was the first monster I fought in this? It was Anjanath, right? Anjanath was like nineteen minutes. But other than that, every other monster I have faced with the dual blades has been like sixteen minutes average. And this, and I think uh, the Barioth was like fifteen minutes. And all, basically, like all my, my other weapons that I used in the Gathering Hub quests was like anywhere from sixteen to like twenty minutes. So. I feel like I'm doing quests faster. I'm getting hit less. The flight skill is fantastic. It's just insane. And and you can pretty easily maintain Arch Demon form because while like your Arch Demon gauge is going down, you can just go into you can manually go into demon form and it rebuilds the gauge back up, which is so like OP because you would think that you, it, it would force you to wait until the arch demon gauge runs out before you can start building it up again but no you can literally maintain 100 percent arch demon uptime during a whole fight as long as like when he runs away you can catch up to him in time it's 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 amazing okay uh, i was reading it in my mind but i should probably be <laughs> reading this out loud one of our researchers was saying that rakna kadaki was acting the same as other monsters under ibushi's influence <sighs> But I thought the wind serpent tucked the tail and ran off. If Ibushi's out of the picture, what's causing this mess? Hmm. Something ain't right. It's almost as if there's a second ramp. No! Hiku, hiku. That is what Hinoa heard when resonating with Ibushi. Even with this lead, we were getting nowhere. That is until now. We have discovered what this queen is, or rather Minoto has. Yes, for better or worse, it looks like Minoto also has the gift of resonating with monsters. And with this new information, the guild has confirmed that this queen isn't Elder Dragon. And its name is Thunder Serpent Narwa. If we're ever going to stop the rampage and free Kimura from this calamity, we need to slay this fiend. We, haul, we have all of our scouts out searching for the Thunder Serpent. It won't take us long to locate it. And when that happens, the final battle will be yours to fight, Luna. Until then, please continue to accept a quest from Minoto. Seven star quests are available now, so hop to it. Whew. I think I think this is pretty much it, right? Like, after this, I think we're going to finish the game. I'm assuming seven-star quests are the end, and then we go to the DLC. What's wrong, Luna? You've quite the long face today. Are you worried about me resonating with Thunder Serpent Narwa? I appreciate your concern. It was the first time I'd experienced it, so I apologize for my reaction. But you needn't worry. The constant stream of thoughts can be distracting. But I forgot about it because I'm so glad to have the same powers, you know. Enough about me. I have new quests for you. You are now able to accept some sort of quests. Have a look when you are ready. I have almost pinpointed Thunder Serpent Nowra's location using our connection. We will surely find it soon. Okay. Wow. A Goss Harag, Magnamalo, a Mudron Tigrex, Rajan. Yeah. This is the end, man. This is the end of the base game right here. We got this, and then I'm assuming we're going to have one more urgent quest, maybe? Or maybe there's going to be, like, a some kind of, like, end game chain. Like, a chain of urgent quests, maybe? But, yeah, we're, like, right there at the end. Damn, bro. I don't know what to do. Um, uh, like, the dual blades has been kicking ass. We've all worked really hard, and now we're able to forge more decorations. All right, show them to me. What decorations do you have, good sir? Absorber. Recoil when firing bowgun ammo. Reload speed. Nice. I am surprised. Um, there is quite a bit of, like, bowgun... Oh, that's probably... It's probably because you can't customize... You can't modify bowguns in this game, right? That's probably what it is. Because in Monster Hunter World, you can modify, you can add mods to a bowgun, which is, is is essentially the same thing as like a reload mod, uh, a recoil mod. Oh, okay. So instead of modding, you have to waste decorations. I gotcha. Counter Strike, Sniper, Evade, Extend. Dude, 
Ma maxi Vade Extender with with the dual blades in demon form, you're literally going to be flying. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Um, sheath, windproof, slugger. Damn, like, are the attack... People said that there, there are attack decorations in this game and there's not HP decorations. Are the attack decorations coming in Master Rank, maybe? Oh, wait, I can craft... Okay, I have a Wyvern gem. I did it. Okay, let's... Well, first of all, let's check our armor. Ibushi. Uh, no, I already had... God damn it, you see again. Again. Why does this crap happen, bro? Why does this happen? I feel like every time I've defeated a monster, usually I can craft at least one piece of gear in world. Man, did they like increase? Maybe they like increase like materials that you need. This kind of reminds me of of Vulcana's Greaves. Doesn't that, that kind of reminds me of Vulcana's Greaves instead of it's purple. Kinda. That's kind of like the Vulcana skirt. Like a little bit, like the same design. Dude, this this is <laughs> the Vulcana armor <laughs> with a little modification to make it kind of look like it's webs. It's webbing, right? I'm not crazy, right? That this really reminds me of Vulcana's uh the the rhyme rhyme guard, Vulcana's rhyme guard armor. Damn, uh that's dude, that's crazy, dude. I did three hunts today, and none of the hunts have I been able, like, to craft the gear for them. Oh, well, bear... Bury off two, bro! Bury off two! I did three hunts, and I haven't been able to craft one single piece of gear from them. Something's wrong, man. This 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 ain't right. This ain't right. Did they, did they try to, like, increase grinding to make, like, a set here? All right, um, I'm not going to continue the seven star quest in this episode, but I think before oh You have something new Feeling melding oh melding pot, okay. Yeah, um, I really don't care about the melding pot right now um, New dango Okay Now Before I end the episode, I think I want to see. I want to see what is this skill? What is this skill here? The dual blade skill that we're going to unlock. Dissect the dual blades. Let's do this. And. Let's do it SOS. Hopefully, hopefully, a lot of people join. Let's end this with a bang. You know, let's have some SOS fun, hopefully. And I will probably start Dragon's Dogma 2 when I come back from my sister's wedding in April. Like, I'll probably come back, like, like a, like a week into April. Which, I, I hope that's fine. Uh, like, if you're going to play Dragon's Dogma and you, you're interested in, in, like, maybe checking checking up on me on my Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough, that gives you more than enough time. Play through Dragon's Dogma 2. Find some cool stuff, man. And then you can... Tag along in April, follow along with my playthrough. Maybe you give me some tips without spoiling the games. Like, I'm totally down, man. Like, I'm I'm not that big. Like, I don't really care too much about, like, backseating, backseating, as long as it's just not spoilery. Like, I'm, I'm okay with people helping me out, you know? I really like hearing what people have to say. I really appreciate everybody who, like, gives me tips, comments. It, it really means a lot to me. I know some people hate it when like people like give like backseat or give tips and comments. I I, I like it. It kind of makes me feel like I'm playing this game with you guys, even though like I'm not even live streaming. Like reading what you guys have to say and then trying to implement your tips. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Anjanath. Okay. 
Damn it, I tried. God, that sucks, bro. I hate that. I hate that with a passion, man. Like that double hit. I ran out of stamina. I, I was trying to dodge. the roar. I don't know how I'm doing that. Oh, I ran out of Arch Demon mode, damn it. counters there.
I was out of stamina again. My stamina management this fight has been terrible. Oh, Rathian. Away, Rathian? Oh, I didn't even notice Rajong is on this map. didn't hit me before my counter uh, silk vine skill went out. Dude, this is always happening to me now. This is always happening to me now. The wirefall is, is is kicking my ass now. I keep on wirefalling right into the enemy. Damn. I'm surprised how often this is happening. I feel like I've never noticed it as much as it's been happening this episode. Like, it has happened already, like, multiple times. Are you effing kidding me? Seriously, Ingenath? God damn it! Ah. Well, somebody joined. Oh shoot, Rajang is here. Let's wake him up. Let's wake up Rajang. Okay. Oh man, I want to let's see how Rajang is. Let's see this fight. Mount Finisher. <laughs> okay, hopefully Rajang isn't gonna kick my ass here. Is he right? Okay, Rajang's running away. Huh? <laughs> 
the wire bug. Oh wow, we got a full quest here. Oh look, uh, someone else is fighting the Rathian already. Sweet. Injunath Fang. Yeah, I definitely needed that. Nosebone Plus. I might be able to craft some Injunath stuff after this. Alright. Alright, I'm here, guys. The Dual Blade Master is here. I evaded it again. I don't know how I'm, I'm invading this. These wars. Okay. Rajan. Oh boy. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, oh, I love this. I saw this animation in World where Rajan just picks him up like it's a cartoon, dude. <laughs> Someone's on top of Rathian, I think. And <laughs> Rajong is chasing them. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. God damn, look at this. This Rathian is running so far with the person on him. <laughs> Come on, you got him. Take him down. Knock him down. You got it, man. You got it. Good job, everybody. Nice. Wee. It's interesting that we only have one insect blade in this game, yet there's multiple colored um, dust clouds. So purple, poison, I'm assuming a yellow is probably like a paralysis. So there's multiple, like, dust clouds that's that's weird because like a kinsect usually has like one element or one thing um for the dust clouds so it's interesting that there's two if i hit this huh weird okay let's see what is this what is this dual blade skill gonna be Uh, switch skill, piercing bind. Oh, we can change the L2 triangles, uh, silk bind skill. Okay, so piercing bind is good if the monster is down and you have, like, a big opening. But other than that, I don't think piercing bind is good. It's, it's, bas it's pretty much only good if they're down. You see, look at that. Wire gauge recovery speed slow. I totally noticed that last episode. I was like, this is ridiculous. It takes 30 seconds to regen that wire bug. Uh, ends when a certain amount of time elapses or when target becomes out of range. So what is the other thing I have? Tower vault. Oh, is this it? Is this the vault that I kept hearing about? I thought people, I thought somebody said that it was a master rank one. Launches a wire bug upwards and you with it. This action does not do any damage, but allows you to move through the air, and in most cases, even with your weapon drawn. Uh, wire bug gauge recovery speed is fast while holding L2. Okay, so this isn't an extra damage one. This is just... It only, like, vaults me up. So I guess, like... So, like... Yeah, this is probably like really good like like this right is this is this is this good because like because i can easily i can just do this i can just do circle and it brings me into the air i don't know if i need another another skill to get me into the air i don't know if i need that I don't think I need that skill. Why Why would I need that? Because I already have Demon Flight. I love Demon Flight. Demon Flight is so good. I freaking love it. And Tower Vault is just another way for me to get into the air, which I can just do with Demon Flight. So if need be, I can always use a Piercing Bind for extra damage while they're down. Right? So... Okay, I mean... I was kind of hoping I would have gotten a better skill from that quest. All right, like, man, we're, we're getting towards the end of the base game here. And I have to say, like, I, I, I'm impressed with the dual blades. Like, I, I, I really, really am impressed with the dual blades. A lot of the fights this episode just went so smoothly. I, I think, like, I learned my lesson from the first episode, and I rarely did this. Um, I rarely did blade dance. 
Blade Dance is super bad unless they're down. Because if they're not down, it gives like the enemy a huge opening to hit you. And you can't cancel out of that animation. So you can't you can't do the L2 circle silk bind, the shrouded vaults. Um and I did the Shrouded Vault quite a few times in this episode because I wasn't locked into the Blade Dance. <laughs> I wasn't locked into this. When you're not locked into the Blade Dance, you kind of like have like a good amount of time. Look, back to get into the Shrouded Vault. And you take zero damage like it seems like when you do Shrouded Vault. Uh, and you do counterattack. So it's good. You know, this is... Pretty much the bread and butter of this is freaking this. Circle. Bam. That's that's the bread and butter of the dual blades. Bam. And then you just go. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's so good. All right. Uh, man, I ha this is a hard choice for me. Like, I... It's funny because the last episode I was like, okay guys, I want to give a disclaimer. There is a good chance that after this episode, I am going to put the dual blaze down. I just want to test it out. But I did say that I was open to being amazed and surprised by this weapon. And I have to say like this weapon has grown on me. And in this episode, it was just, all the fights were so smooth. They were nice. Uh, I did so much. I was like, I probably like maintained like 90% uptime on Archdemon mode this whole episode. Like, when I'm fighting, it was crazy. Right? It's so good. It's so good. Feral, somebody was saying that Feral Demon mode isn't really that good because you want to get into Archdemon mode as fast as possible. But the truth is, once you get into... Once, like, I get into Archdemon mode, I it's pretty easy to maintain, like, Archdemon mode. Like... Well, uh, Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of stamina here, but yeah, like right here. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. All right, so now, right, I'm in arch demon mode. I can attack. Boop, 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 boop. Right, bam, 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 bam. And then when my arch demon gauge is going down, bam, I go right into feral demon mode, build it right back up, bam, and then I get out of demon mode. And I'm back at 100% uh, arch demon mode. It's so good. Uh, the, the 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 aerial stuff, man. The fly skill is so good. Whew. All right, man. I think um, I think I just have to force myself. Maybe uh, because I did say I wanted to try the switch axe again. I I think I only used maybe the switch axe for one episode. So I want I want to give switch axe another shot. And probably in master rank. Once I get to master rank. I'm probably going to check out the weapons again to see the new Master Rank skills. Because everybody has been saying that the new weapon skills, the new switch skills that you get from Master Rank are just so good. It completely changes the weapon or something. It's so OP. So I'm probably going to try a lot of the weapons again in Master Rank. And then I'm probably going to settle down maybe towards the end when it's starting to get more difficult on a weapon that I'm feeling the most comfortable with. That's not Greatsword. Because uh, I pretty much used Greatsword exclusively for the endgame content in World. So I'm going to try to focus and, and try to see if there's something else that uh, I really like for the endgame content. Maybe, like, it might be Dual Blades. Um, I definitely want to give Switch Axe another shot. And I will try... I still want to try Gunlance again. Um, I'm probably going to wait until Master Rank to try Gunlance again to see the new skills for Gunlance. But... Uh, I, I'm not giving up on Gunlance. I just think that Mizutsune just kicked my ass too much. And I was just like, ah, let me try something else. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you guys for watching. It really means the world. I do appreciate any support. Like if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And if you like, as long as you like my content, if you like my videos and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Just, just press that button, man. It, it really supports me. It really motivates me to play more. Uh, if you have any tips, any comments, throw it down. I do read all of them. And I do appreciate you guys spending the time to, you know, put down these posts. Some people put so much detail in their posts. And uh, it really means a lot. Like, even if I don't reply, like, I try to give <laughs> I try to give people the heart. 
thing. <laughs> kind of to show you that I read your message. Uh, but I do appreciate it. I do read them all. So many people have so many good tips and comments. I Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but, but yeah, I will see you next time when I start the seven star quests. Hub quests. All right. So I will see you next time. I got to go. Bye-bye.